trips to the right side. Tony Gonzalez, the lone tight end on the left side. Santana Moss motions over. Scannon will drop Let's back go! to pass. He's got a man wide open. Oh, quick Tony. start the way to go Stop for J Wall. Moss, 20, 15, Early. 10, 5. Oh, the oh, Lions oh. Club champion strikes first and strikes quick. First play Early of the game. The He's not going to score. J Wall goes to the crossing score. route. Santana oh. Moss, no one's catching him. What a way to start this ball game. Oh boy. Quick start indeed for J Wall as he will attempt the extra point. 13 seconds. You know he wants that 10K in his pocket. 7 0 the score. Fireworks early. And you know, I was going to say, both these guys have really been on a tear lately. Poison with two big wins in the Vikings Club final, then earlier today. And we talked to Poison. Or user and Katie did in the interview, and he said, listen, I prepared my whole team, my abilities, my roster for this matchup against J Wall. But as you see on the Snickers replay, the crossing route, Santana Moss, just a blown coverage, wide open in the middle of the field, and he takes it to the crib. And even with LeJerry's seat out there, TD, once Santana Moss rolls into open space, you're not catching him. No, no, not at all. We talked about it, his, his agility, his speed, the route running, one of the best receivers in the game and it paid off for J-Wall on his first play of the ball game. Delay a game taken. Take a look at our keys to the game for Poison. He's got to get after Gannon. Tried to send the heat there, but it got picked up. Yeah, he's going to get after Gannon, but it didn't work out on that first play. He did try to send the heat. His user kind of got stuck. Not sure if he was trying to rush him or he just got stuck at the line, but Man, that it doesn't get much more open than it did right there for J Wall. And looking at his key to the game, that deep six. J Wall, you know, he loves to go deep. TNC deep in this tournament. We'll see how he does. Gotta find some touchdowns over the top. Take advantage of plays like that, TD. One play, 77 yards. I'd call that a deep touchdown. Exactly, right? Beautiful play to, for J Wall. And his confidence has got to be through the roof. I mean, his confidence is already through the roof. He just won $25,000 in the level next tournament. No one's playing better John Madden football at this point than Jay Wall, but that's a great way to get it boosted to start this final eight or final 16 matchup. First and 10 for Poison. Boy, his run game was effective against Stiff in that NFC get North semifinal. Get I think he had 190 get on, yards on, plus rushing. He's going to have to pass. He will yeah, have that to was, pass. That was insane. And he will not the rushing compete. attack. The first two, two runs he did, he ran for about 150. So you got to think Jay Wall has been waiting uh, and prepping for this run attack. He knows he needs to slow that down. And the other thing, too, is Poison loves trips tight end. Jay Wall, of course, as we know, has seen trips tight end a million times. He runs it himself. So he'll be prepared for that. Look for Poison to go to some unorthodox formations like he's doing right here. He will have to pass. I promise. He will have to pass. You can see the defensive game plan already from J Wall. He wants to make sure he doesn't get beat with that ground attack. He wants to force him to air it out. Exactly. He's got to focus on the run game. He knows that he wants Poison to pass. Poison not known as an elite passer by any means. That run game has been potent. So if J Wall can shut that down, he feels like he puts himself in a good this? position. What are you doing? What am I doing? That's exactly that. That Third and eleven. Trips to the short side. Now he'll go to the bunch tight end. See if he gets those crossers going. He'll motion T.Y. Hilton. Haven't seen a lot of T.Y. Hilton here in this tournament. Scan his steps left. He had some levels action. Both were open. Tony G picks up 20. What a route combo by Poison. He had two slants, two crossers, everyone in the middle of the field, but he waits for the tight end to get to the sidelines. That's what you call, like you said, levels flooding the middle of the field, whatever you want to call it, but he waits, patient, throws a laser. First and ten. Good blitz, uh, good blitz pickup on the user, trying to find a gap shoot up the middle. He'll pick up two on the ground. Very different offenses here, TD. Poison really trying to shorten the game, slow things down, control T.O.P. J-Wall trying to score as many times as he can. 
Great point. Jay Wall's looking for fireworks. He's looking to go deep, often. Poison's going to slow it down, but he's very balanced. Nothing doing here. Trying to find something through the air. Incomplete pass, third down and eight. Poison, of course, took down Lord Kev, AKA Phenom, in that Vikings Club final. What was a really, really good game. And then able to overcome. Pay! Looks oh. over the top. Pay. That's picked Pay. off. First Let's mistake go. of the game by Poison. J Wall said he wanted to make a pass, and now we see why. Oh, a pick smart. for Jacob Wallach. Poison tried to thread the needle. A little bit of a risky pass right there. He thought Randy Moss had a couple steps on him, but J Wall clicks on and makes the user pick. J Wall is just, he's playing on another level right now, Nick. He really is. So tough to stop. Just ask everybody who's had to go through to get to this point. Poison wants to get in that double A gap. Gannon. Back to pass. He scored on his first pass attempt. He'll take a sack on his second one. It was eventually Leroy Glover getting there. How about Boogs, my guy, Boogs? Shout out to Boogs at home. He says it's so painful watching Jay Wall represent our lines right now. He's a great young player, though. TD, I don't know if you got a chance to watch, but I, I got to watch that Xbox final. J Wall and Boogs. I think it was Xbox. Doesn't matter what system it was. What mattered was J Wall went on a 24 play drive to win game number two of that battle, closed out in game three. It was one of the most entertaining three game series I've gotten to watch. Oh man, it was phenomenal. What a battle that was. Both guys, you know, Boogs is sick right now. These are his Lions. You got a feel for both guys, J Wall and Boogs, both huge Lions fans, both big Matthew Stafford fans. Boogs is always tweeting about his guy Stafford, and it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw Book saying he's going to switch to the whatever team Stafford goes to. It's both guys losing their quarterback. Third and 13, yeah, pressure, yeah, but he's got yeah, a man yeah, open. A throw out of yeah, set gets to Gonzalez, trying to hit the heads. Oh, He'll pick up a first down to the 47-yard line. Throw out of sack. Sometimes it, it, it hurts you. Sometimes it works beautifully for you. Very fortunate right there. Poison tried to bring the heat. Tight end was wide open. Jay Wall got the pass off at the last second turns it into a big play. Well, that's the second wide open receiver. This Poison defense is left alone. First attempt for J-Wall. Uh-oh, steps up. Oh, that he was about to have a touchdown with X. The defense just gets there in time, no gain. Yeah, if he had a couple more seconds, he was about to clear the deep safety over there on the right side. But Poison, I think Poison is looking a little bit better though when he runs coverage. Every time he blitzes, J. Wall has an answer. The coverage defense, he's making some good adjustments with his safeties, but I think he might be bringing heat again here. Let's see, J. Wall going to use some motion. Moss oh, motions to the right side. Uh-oh, oh, in trouble. He'll the last just get rid of that yes. one. Poison sending the entire defense, the coaching staff, and row 14 at him. He sent the goons right there. J Wall throws it away. It was a great user, too, because the quick read, J Wall sending five out, didn't have any extra blockers. He could have hit the quick table route. That's what his first read was. Poison was all over it with his user. Third and 10. It's Gannon. Come on. Coverage Come on. back there, no me. one there, uh-oh, oh it's out God, of range, man. and that one could have been picked oh. off. Instead, it'll be fourth and ten, and Jay Wall looks like he's bringing the offense back on the field. He's very fortunate right there. I see what he was trying to do. He thought the wheel had a couple steps, but just not enough time. He can't throw that pass. His quarterback is tired right here as well, and he's going to punt the ball. I'm actually surprised by this call. Usually an aggressive player, he's going to trust his defense. Fourth and ten. Does he have a punt dot in him at TNC Special Teams? No, <laughs> to the, barely got it inside the 20. Oh boy, J Wall, I think he took a page out of Fancy's playbook with their punting skills. These guys, hey, great Madden players making deep runs here, but they need to get in the lab with their punting. This is a very subpar performance to say the least. Well, let's see how Poison just after his first drive didn't go anywhere. Turn the ball over. 
Bo Jackson in the backfield. It will be Bo. Thank Boy, you he had a big too. lane right up the A-gap. Tried to bounce it right, only picked up two. And that's the second time he's ran that. He did it earlier when he picked it up, you called it out. That run really looks like it has a lot of potential. Both times he's ran that, I see a lot of space up there in that middle of the field. I think Poison got to keep going back to it. Kamara at fullback in this weak eye formation. Clear. Play action, and J Wall was not fooled by it. Sean Taylor, the late legend, with the sack. I see it. Play action, just not the move in Madden. Every time you carry it out, easily Turbo rushes up the middle. J Wall gets a big sack. Final game of the weekend. It's been such an awesome weekend. We're so happy we got to share it with you guys at home. Please make sure you come back next weekend. Thursday and Friday, we'll have the live final on ESPN2, 10 o'clock Eastern, Friday night. But lots of games on Thursday. We got to get down to the final four. Third and 13. Does Poison have some intermediate dots? Play action. Three-man rush. He'll find Moss, but good tackle. He'll get eight of the 13, fourth and five. Decision time here for Poison. See what he's going to do at his own 25 or 24 here on a fourth and five. I think he's going to go for it, but this could be a big momentum shifter for J-Wall. Remember, guys, use hashtag Madden Club Championships for a chance to see your tweet on the broadcast. We'll be selecting a few lucky people to win Mutt items. Made up the competitor's favorite players. Twitch chat, we got you too. We'll be giving out items to a few randomly chosen viewers through the rest of the night. Fourth and five. Trips to the left side for Poison. Needs a nickel. Gannon back, Peter. stepping up, oh, look at left side, Peter. he's got it! Tony G to the 41. Throws a heater, threads it in there, behind the linebacker, in front of the safeties. Oh, that was a tight window, but he threads the needle. Poison needed that badly, big time dot. That was a four-seamer right into the midst of Tony Gonzalez. Can that get Poison's offense going? First and 10. He'll audible down to that strong eye. Two wide receivers to the right, T.Y. Hilton and Randy Moss out there. User, user, there goes user, Bo. User. Good pursuit by J. Wall, but Bo still picks up three. Yeah, nice little run right there. And while we have a moment, chat, Twitter, Universe, YouTube, wherever you are, make sure you guys wish my guy Nick Mazesco, the voice of Madden, an early happy birthday tomorrow. He turns 31 years young. I want to be the first one to say happy birthday. I love you. I'm so thankful to be doing this with you. I hope you have a fun time tomorrow. Stay safe, of course. But make sure everyone in the chat and on Twitter is wishing my guy Nick a happy birthday. Much love, brother. I wish, I, I, this, this is the shit. I wish we were in person because normally we're working these weekends. So last time we were uh, out at the club doing a little birthday celebration. Oh man, the things I would do right now to see you in the club tomorrow night on the B-Day, that would be a lot of fun. With that inflatable pool and the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Nightmare fuel for everyone at home. First and 10. Tackle, tackle. Bo Jackson. Oh my God. Nice run from Poison to the 32 yard line. Yeah, that dive he's going down to has a lot of potential. I keep saying that. He's only six for 12 right now, but he's starting to manufacture a little bit here. Like we said, he plays very methodical, slows the pace down. You can see he's very calm right there. I still think he's looking like he's laying back. Like he doesn't have a lot of stress on him. And a big drive right here. He needs to make a, a response. Timeout taken by Jaywall. only one remaining. Boy, it feels like that fourth and five pickup tie maybe loosened up Poison a little bit. He seems more confident making his reads. Yeah, he does. I, and that happens. This is a big game. Remember, $10,000, but you, 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 you take it to $25,000 total with your pot if you win this. A lot of pressure in this game. Poison hasn't been in this situation many times. Beam. And Beam. he throws He's a got a T.Y. Hilton almost turned to T.D. Hilton down to the four-yard line. J-Wall can't believe it. Right back to my point. He hasn't been in these situations a lot. This is a big-time game. $25,000 on the line in total. And it takes a little bit to get those nerves out of the way. But on this drive, he's looking phenomenal. Ah, that's open on third. I think Poison might be the only person in the last two days running that T.Y. Hilton at wide receiver. Came up big right there. First and goal.
Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. But trying to tackle Bo is like trying to tackle a four-door sedan. <laughs> He's so good. You see it right there. Almost broke that again and got in the end zone. I'd go right back to Bo here. If you're poison, you see him taking his time again, really thinking about the play call here, using some of that clock as well. J-Wall only with one timeout. I would fully expect poison to go right back to the ground game with Bo Jackson. Second and goal. Two minute warning in the first half. And J Wall get a, an unbelievable stop. Or will Poison cash in? Hold the three. Hold the three. Boy, J Wall is not fooled by this strong eye. He's got to keep bringing the heat to try to bring down Bo Jackson in the backfield. First and 10 for J1, minute 48 to go. And that one on the run, inaccurate. Can't hook up on the drag route. Three of six, 120 for J1 already. Yeah, three of six, 120 is great, but three of six, not too efficient for J1. He usually, you know, sometimes he can go 100% uh, passing with his, with his reads. Like we said, Poison, he said he was locked in on this matchup. He built his whole team, his roster, around facing J1 here in the final 16. Get out, Barry. Get out, Barry. Get Wide out, Barry. open is Barry. It's my bad. First down, and he'll go out of bounds at the 32, oh, give him 14 bad. out of the flat. Smart read right there. Poison staying in that man-to-man -man double A gap, but he leaves the running back, brings a little heat. Table route, uncovered. Barry Sanders, all that speed. Nice check down by J-Ball, and he gets out of this bounds. Weird... Stop the clock. Oh, that was a weird. Seven all. $10,000 on the line. One spot in next week's final weekend of club action. What a tournament it's been so far. Gannon. Right side, oh, shit, throw it away. Up. <sighs> wow, what a uh, gutsy gambling type of defense right there by Poison. J Wall loves that motion over out and up route. And it was wide open. Poison left it uncovered, so he had to user it. And then J-Wall had the post behind it uncovered, but he just couldn't get the pass in there. That was really risky defense, but it paid off. Great user by Poison. He's looking for that crosser. It's not there. Now it's all up to the bounce. He'll throw this one away. Poison, after the first drive, the first about drive and a half, kind of shaky defensively. He's really settled in against J-Wall. He really is. I think it's a good time to point out also New and Man 21 is those zone depth sliders. You see Poison right there. It was man coverage, but he had a defender in a deep zone at about 25 to 30 yards. I believe it was a curl flat. So you can do that now in Man 21. Change those zone sliders to play a certain yardage uh, down the field. <laughs> Risky there. Jaywal has run it into quite a Tough predicament with Poison, and for everybody who counted out Poison in this game, TD, now he's going to have a drive before halftime to put points he's on the, the board. the worst punter ever. Like, what is and going again, on? And again, a bad punt. Great field position for Poison. Another bad punt, and, and J Wall for the first time, basically, you know, all year, really, in these big games, he's starting to be in trouble here. Poison doing a great job adjusting on that drive playing some gambling type of defense, but it paid off. And J Wall with two punts, very uncharacteristic. Poison now still has a timeout, plenty of time. Back to the ground game. Bo up the middle, gets oh, four. Only oh, one timeout left from Poison. Interesting to see him call a run play on first down. Yeah, he's gonna stick to his game plan though. He's not in a rush. Goes to the dive, only four yards here, but he's, he's actually going way too slow though. I know I, I like the, the play call's fine, but now he's taking a long time to pick his play here. Got to use a little bit of tempo. Not a whole lot of urgency, but a quick Please. snap. Looks to the corner oh, route, right over the head to the 42 yard line. What a read from Poison, near field goal range.
And he got Jay Wall stuck on his D tackle. Hiked it when he wasn't ready. Jay Wall still trying to make adjustments. Poison takes advantage, throws it right behind him to the tight end corner rope. First and 10. Goes back. Into the weak eye. Gives it to Kamara. He's got some room. Uh-oh, Alvin Kamara. Uh-oh, what All a right. play before the half. Poison's got 10K on his That's mind. So Kamara to the crib. <sighs> Break it Ooh, open, exactly. Poison. The veteran oh, in his first crazy. MCS like, major takes a huge lead over J Wall. No one expected this. What a run. What a game this has been. And what an adjustment Poison has made here in the second quarter. Still lots of time left. But if you thought this was going to be a walk in the park for J Wall, the third oldest competitor in the field, Poison has something to say about that one. Short kick. No timeouts for Jay. Well, he'll get to the 21 yard line. Take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. Alvin Kamara right up the middle, cuts it outside. Goes right back to that dive. He's had some success with it. The seam is there, and then he cuts to the right and he takes it to the house. And for Jay Wall, throughout this whole Lions Club, besides the games with Boogs that were sweaty and tough, after that, he's been in cruise control in all these games. On, he hasn't really on, been on. from behind. Woo. We'll see how he can react to this adversity. What is that sack? Tag? Gonzalez able to make the fingertip snag. Picks up a first down, 40 seconds left, TD. He has no timeout, but he's at the 35 yard line. Yeah, still plenty of time here, but you gotta get out of bounds, obviously. All you want is three points right here. You're not looking for a touchdown. You don't wanna force anything. Try to get into that field goal range. First and 10. Gannon. So in the middle, he's got Dion. All right, let's see what this runoff looks like. 32 seconds, it'll go down to 18 seconds. He'll spike it. Can he use the middle of the field here, TD? He can, he can throw a quick one, I believe, but you gotta hurry up and, and spike it really fast. He has one shot to the middle of the field. He needs, what, 10, 15 yards here to get into that field goal range. Probably closer to 15. 10, 12. 13, 13 yeah. will get him to the to the 40 yard line. Come on, come on, come on. Throw out a sack! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that could have been a pick. That could have ended the drive. Uh, ended the drive. That could have been a potential return. Poison could have been up two possessions. That was huge. J Wall, very fortunate. You can't you can't go to the middle of the field now. You have to get out of bounds. Trips to the right side. Randy Moss motions over to the left. 12 and counting. Poison trying to get home. Oh, he might have oh, him. Let's go field. for it. He might have Thank him. You. Moss oh, with the catch. God. But he's tackled at the two. <laughs> what a exactly tackle from Poison. Oh, and God, he will bro. not be able to get points on the board. TD, oh, the tackle animation coming up huge for the Vikings club champion. Oh, a game-saving oh, tackle, so a potential tournament-saving tackle. Bullet that. Wow, what a break for Poison. And you see him, he oh, has to know God, how lucky he so just got. Jay Wall saying, I should have bullet passed it. He lobbed it. That was absolutely huge. What an end to the first half. Folks, we still got 10 minutes to go. This has been an absolute dogfight. 14 to seven. Poison with the lead. Jay Wall trying to fight back. Woo! I'm exhausted. And we still got a full weekend of action coming up next weekend. For more on what we got, let's throw it back to Katie Emmer. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Another great night wrapping up the division finals. But as you mentioned, we still have more action next week. Thursday, we will have the final eight in conference semifinal play. Then it all comes down to Friday, February 5th on ESPN2 where we will crown a new champion. Certainly all of us looking forward to that. And a reminder to all of our viewers, we're celebrating Pro Bowl weekend with a free play to a free to play trial. Between now and January 31st, you can play Madden NFL 21 for free. Be sure to take advantage of that one. So you play some Madden for free, take a break and rewatch the clubs, watch the Pro Bowl on Sunday. Also wish Nick a happy birthday. All of you are so busy. You got to do that. And a reminder to use the hashtag Madden Club Championship this year. It's Vikings mascot Victor Viking tweeting.
at me. Can I get user on board with Poison? And you know what? He has to be. User should have known this is my home team. He's got to pick the Vikings. He's got to go with that. And you know what, though? User, always some great picks. I, I do very much appreciate my friend. Hopefully, we can get a thought from him on a Poison here. He's looking good in this game so far. Still a second half to be had. And, of course, he's up 14-7. Nick and TD, back to you. Katie, thank you so much. Let's bring him in. User, you've been called out by the Vikings mascot. Poison's up 14 to seven. Are you a believer in the third oldest competitor in the field? I am a believer. Victor, I am on the Poison train. I'm riding it with you. Some reason, something seems off with J-Wall. I don't know what's going on with this TNC in the bottom half of the bracket. It was supposed to be a whole TNC in the NFC side, but something's off. Poison got this offense clicking with the run no, game. Fake. His defense is locking up. And J Wall just seems a little bit off. I see what you see, Victor. I'm with you. I mean, this this first half has been unbelievable. To, uh, user, let's talk about that play at the end of the half. The lob versus the bullet. A lot of people saying because of that lob, that's what pulled the receiver back, allowed the tackle. Ooh. I mean, talk about how much a difference between a light tap of the button and a hard tap of the button. You want to be honest, Nick? That play right there could be what propels poison to the final weight. Tackle him at the one yard line. That's reminiscent of the Rams Super Bowl when they, when they was playing the Titans and they just came up a yard short. Yes, it was right before the half, but that was big because Poison comes out, gets the ball. If he can put together a smart drive right here, it, he doesn't even have to get a touchdown. Just milk the clock. Take as much time as you can get. Try to get at least three. And this right here could propel him to the final way. Back him up, back him up. Uh, back him up. Yeah. This this is the put away oh, drive man, right here on. too for Poison. You go you can get points here. But like user said, it was re reminiscent of that uh, Rams Titans game. It's a game of inches out here, and th in this case, six yards, six yards to glory to tie this thing up. But now Poison can really take control. Appreciate user hopping in. What a job he's done. By the way, it, we would be remiss if we didn't give. Him. User, I know it happened a couple weeks ago, but how about what he did Thank you. Thank with you. that level next tournament? TD, those shows were so much fun to watch with User on the call. Oh, so good. So entertaining. User did a phenomenal job. I mean, and it was it was a long road, too. You know, he did a lot of shows. They all did such a great job, and it led to J-Wall becoming the first ever level next collegiate champion. He's in a fight now. Can he add to his winnings, or will Poison? Shock everybody who thought there. I saw a lot of brackets out there with J Wall as the final champion. The bracket buster poison get looking him, to stay on top. Him, Third and 12. Him. But J Wall's defense steps up to start off the second half. Jonathan Abraham ball. with a sack. Fourth and forever. That's exactly what he needed. And you got to think now, J Wall is more motivated than ever. If he had any nerves, if he was thinking too much, that's out the window now. He's angry. He's motivated. He got an unfortunate break. You got to think he's hungry now. He wants that ball back and he's going to get it. See if Poison's special teams. He doesn't have focus kicker on. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Lando block. Oh, he leaves it inside. Oh, I means Bo on. Jackson has a chance to All return right. it. Not I'm the back. greatest return, but a good field position at the 40 to 42. Excuse me. TD, what? What are we seeing from J Wall's offense? What's not working right now? Yeah, you know, it's tough. Poison's mixing it up real well. I think J Wall just doesn't exactly know what's coming. You know, sometimes he's playing coverage, sometimes he's playing blitz. And every time he does bring that heavy heat, he's right on those quick reads that J Wall wants to throw. And J Wall loves to send out five routes. He doesn't like to max protect too much. Right here, he gets Poison stuck on his D tackle, on, though. Dion. Come on, Dion, get down, we'll Dion. Find Dion underneath. He'll get the first down, won't risk a hit. He'll get past midfield to the 46 yard line. Big, big drive here, TD. This could be a momentum on, swing if J Wall can blitz find us. the end zone. He's going to blitz off. No doubt about it. Biggest drive of Jay Wall's Madden season, and he's had a big season already, but that's what I was saying. He likes to send out five routes. He's not a guy that likes to max protect too often, so when Poison mixes it up and brings that blitz out of the A gap, the double A gap, Jay Wall hasn't been ready for it. Right here, he's going to go three routes, so he's going to be able to protect this, uh, pick this blitz up. He's going to blitz us! And he might have it! And we're going to throw he our has him! Thank you. to the end zone! The freak! This is not a gym. He's a personal trainer. This is not a gym. Three freaking times.
literally every great time protection great pocket and an absolute dot to a wide open randy moss on the post oh, road man. jay wall switches it up he sends out three routes blocks extra guys and it pays off and he ties it up big time play from jay wall one stop kick is away Boys, we'll take this at the 25-yard line. TD, let's look at this one more time when Randy Moss is over the top. In his own words, he's straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. You said it best to the end zone post route right behind the zone defense. You know, Poison trying to dial it up. And Jay Wall, with, you know, Jay Wall is doing so good, great job right now on that last play of just seeing what defense Poison was in. Knew it was a blitz. He even said it. Can't blitz me. He blitzed him, picked it up, threw a laser. And 10. All of a sudden, can you feel that swing, Ty? Can you feel Jay Wall, who had a, not his best first half of play, but that touchdown, that might swing the game. His defense starting to lock up. Exactly. All the pressure was on Jay Wall, and just like that, boom, he transfers all the pressure back to Poison. Now we get to see what Poison's really made play. out of. Marcel Reese. Oh, Third and one, he gets to the 34 yard line. Nice little check down right there, table rope. You know, all these trips tight end players love that table rope. Bunch guys love it too. It's been one of the best routes, honestly, since I've started playing Madden. Those table routes, you know, now with how Madden is, you can hot route it in there if you have that running back apprentice or hot route master. But table routes have been good in Madden for so long. Third and a yard. Timeout taken, one of those precious second half timeouts. Poison only one timeout remaining. You see there, Poison, he wants to motion that post route, smart route it. When you get that, those smart routed routes, it, they, they really do, do a great job of beating man coverage. Daywell has to watch out for it. Looks like Poison's going to completely switch up his play art, though, oh. go with a different route combo. Defense! Defense! Ooh. Defense! It was a good pocket for a second. Former Penn State Nittany Lyle LeVar one stop, Arrington one with the sack. One stop, one stop, one what stop, great one stop, defense stop, by Jay Wall. Stop, Poison stop, with a great stop, route combo, the post hitch combo, Not and Jay Wall guarded flat. both routes with his user over the middle left side right there. That was phenomenal defense. And now Poison's going to go for it on fourth and four. That's the biggest play of the game so far. 31 yard line. Poison doesn't want to give up the field position. Wants to stay alive. He had a big fourth down conversion in the first half. Does he have one here? Playmaker. Got him. Oh, the oh cheetah. Tyreek Hill, you don't see him out there a lot. But when big plays need to be made, the cheetah makes them. Tyreek Hill hits him with the Heisman. A little catch. Stiff arm animation for the Heisman. And he gets oh, a first down on an absolutely clutch no, fourth down. Poison coming up big time. First and 10 to the 41 yard line. He's in field goal range. Another huge fourth down pickup for the Vikings Clear. club champion. Fuck. I know all of Big Purple Nation pulling for their club champ as Poison's facing a second and long. No doubt about it. You see Poison, like we talked about, he's very methodical. He's starting to use this clock now, getting to the end of this third quarter. I would expect this probably, potentially, maybe to be the last play of the third quarter. We'll see when he hikes it on that play clock. See how cognizant of the clock he is. Snaps with seven seconds left of the Come play on. clock. Gannon stepping up and Gannon set down. Ah, Jay Wall's defense has had a couple big sacks. Poison third and 18. He's outside of field goal range. That was a big sack for, for Jay Wall for two reasons. Took him out of field goal range, puts him in a big third and 18, and it's going to force Poison to call another play in this third quarter. So that was great defense by Jay Wall to get home. Third and 18. See how Poison attacks this. He's trying to get half back. Does he go for it all? Play action. Steps Lando. left. No one open that side. Pick, pick, Steps back it. right. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Jay Wall with Walk Allen. In. He's got room. 45 40. Go. Step and go to the 36 yard line. Man. Force up in the chat. Your Alliance Club champion is in business. Oh, 
Right. Jay Wall's defense comes up huge for him. A bad decision by Poison. He forced it. He didn't need to do that. He panicked on that long third and 18. And now Jay Wall back in control of the ball game. Bad decision right there by Poison. He wanted to hit the flat route, try to get some yards back. But the, he threw it too late, and the route started going up the field already. Threw it, got a horrible throw and, and forced him to throw the pick. First and 10. Gannon. Left side, let's bring in the user. One great user. How about the fight back from J-Wall in the second half? Hey, that's great fighting J-Wall, but this is really my focus is on Katie and Victor. You see what happens when you told me to ride with your guy Poison? All of a sudden, just like that, a whirlwind. Two possessions in a row. I'm not sure you really want me rooting for your guy, but now nah, J-Wall's doing a great job. Poison. Came up with a big fourth down conversion right there. He just cannot throw that in a second. He ball. has to be smarter with the Thank ball. You. He can't do that. Jay Wall, I'm expecting him to take control of this game right here. He's made a lot of mistakes, and that's one thing you can't do. When you're playing a great man player, TD, you know this more than anything. You cannot make mistakes and give him a chance to get back in the game. Exactly, especially a player of Jay Wall's caliber. And in the second half, just a, like you said, a bad decision. You can't make that read. Just throw that thing away or, or check it down. Live to fight another down. J-Wall, first and 10. Poison trying to send heat. It's picked up nicely. Oh, oh Poison stayed aggressive defensively. He is, and I think he kind of needs to because he only has that one timeout left. He thought he was in complete control, used his timeouts early. Those could eventually come back to backfire against him, so he's staying aggressive here. He wants to force J Wall into a mistake. Second down at 10. Near that four minute mark in the game. $10,000 on the line. Quick throw to the flat, diving catch by Sanders, but he'll lose a yard. Third and 11. Poison desperately needs to get off the field here. You can tell though, Jay Wall, he's not comfortable against the blitz. He doesn't want to max protect. He tried to motion block right there. He's not comfortable doing that. And it, it, it messed up. It, the blitz came right in. He wants to send out those five routes and Poison just not letting him do that. That was a little scary right there. He had the flats covered and, and Jay Wall still threw it. Third down 11. There's no way. Oh, he said everyone, and it got there. He so had every single receiver it. open, TD, it, but, but White is able to get to the quarterback. Right Fourth the down. Fuck? I'm not sure if he ran commit or he literally blitzed 10 guys. I think it was a run commit by accident, but the left side was still manned up. I don't know, very interesting, but I think it was a run commit, and Jay Wall couldn't take advantage. Wow. Tyler, these are the moments as a professional Madden player you live for. You've got your destiny in your hands. You've got three minutes and change on the clock for $10,000. You can walk away with the win and keep your hopes of a belt alive. Here we go, let's set the stage. Poison, the underdog. No one thinks he would make it this far. They didn't think he would win the first round. Now he's going up against Jay Wall, probably the top player in the game right now, potentially the hottest player in the game and he has a guap drive, a money drive, for a chance at $10,000 and a chance to go to the final eight. The drama. One power, one power. Power? First and 10. We're there! We're there! And Jay Wall. With the stop. Man, the Lions run me I, I gotta get the reaction. Now, Katie Emmers, I gotta hang out with User all the time. And, you know, User just said, you don't want me rooting for your team because I'm the mush. Katie, are you okay hanging out with this guy? Well, I am most of the time, but now I'm about here uh, at this point after he said, you don't want me rooting for your team. You know, I had faith in him, and now at this point, is he in Somebody fact the mush? Thank you, Dion. The Vikings, oh God, this is my it. home team here, you know, rooting for poison just Wendy, for Wendy, that. Wendy, 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 and user Wendy, comes in Wendy, finally Wendy. saying he's on board with me and Victor. And look what we have here. I, I don't know what to say. Dang it, user. <laughs> the mush. Hey, hey, that's all you got to say, right? 
Listen, not only that, as he looks left side, big play down the field. Big shout out to Katie for hopping on. Ty, here's the thing. Not only is he possibly the mush, but you look at his setup. It's why looking he, pretty why, plush. Why, 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 that dude why looks comfortable. Go. He's comfortable ruining people by picking them. <laughs> I know he is. He enjoys it. He's a bad guy. He puts on this good guy act, but deep down everyone knows User is an evil guy with the voodoo. First and ten, Poison. You have the two-minute warning. He'll go back to the ground tackle, game. Tackle. Alvin Kamara just trips over his oh, own lineman. He He's at the 40-yard line. Down. He's basically in field goal range. TD, how aggressive do you get if you're Poison, <sighs> and how aggressive are you are with your timeouts if you're J-Wall? Well, for Poison, I was going to say it from the start of this drive. It's four-down territory no matter what because he only has one timeout. Now with only two minutes to go, it's definitely four-down territory no matter what. For J-Wall, you're not using the timeouts yet. Another first down, you Two. might start to use them. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Evan Kamara just got hit by a city one bus. Deep. Third one and deep. six. One deep, dude. One deep, Hello dude. there, Poison. My name is Sean Taylor. Welcome to the dance. Now we see, does Poison have a dot cooked up on third and six? Four down territory, two more chances to get six yards, keep his dreams alive. He's gonna drop back to pass, three man rush from <laughs> Jay Wall. Look at Dean, this could be oh your ball God. game! Oh, Randy! Oh, Randy! He has a building called oh Monster God, Madden bro. 20, and in Madden 21, oh he's God, got it activated for the Vikings <laughs> Club Champion! <laughs> He caught that. The <sighs> aggressive catch heard around the world. Double coverage. It doesn't oh, matter. God, it's bro. Randy yeah. Moss, and he's in a Vikings jersey. That's what Randy Moss does. We end the show with Nathan double Bird. coverage. Presented Woo! by Verizon Nathan 5G. Nathan, right there, double Nathan coverage. Nathan. Didn't matter for Poison. He takes the lead. Could that have been a $10,000 catch? Listen to the chat. I don't care if it's Madden 1999. Madden 2009, Madden 21, if it's ultimate team, no matter what, put Randy Moss on your squad. This guy makes plays. One more time. Drink it in. 84 for the score. Just unbelievable. Poison couldn't even believe it. He literally is in shock that he caught it. J-Wall the same. J-Wall just laughs it off. That is just incredible. But... God. After all that, all that drama, we continue the drama because Jay Wall now has the chance to retaliate and he has all three timeouts. Plenty of time, minute 27 to go. Jay Wall now controls his own destiny. Gannon. Coverage is good. He'll throw this one away. Yeah, that was amazing coverage right there. Everything was bagged. Jay Wall had a couple of deep posts, deep shots he wanted to hit. Poison was ready for it. Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island, stand up for your boy. Can Jay Wall complete the comeback? Thank you. Stunt on the inside. Oh, that could have ended That's it right complete. there. Throw out a sack, always a dice roll. Very dangerous, those throw out of sacks. Poison tightening up here. Nothing open. Staying in that coverage defense. J Wall's got to cook up a laser. Boss motions left. Third and ten. Three man rush. He's looking for anyone to get open. Come on, Dion. Come on, Late Dion. Throw. Oh, what a dot. How scary. did that, that get to Dion? What a throw. A gutsy call from your level next champion. What precision, what touch, what patience. How did he throw that? I don't know. That's the type of things that Jay Wall does. Please give it up. He's looking for this post. Gannon. Free! He's not there. Back across his body. There's Sanders. 45 to so midfield. Free, He'll go out of so bounds. 101 to go. Jay Wall has half the job done. He's in enemy territory. That was actually good defense because Poison guarded those two deep routes well with his user, but Deion Sanders, he's so good, gets open. I love the way he carries the ball too with that one hand, and he gets out of bounds. That was a nice dot from Jay Wall. It's the Shady McCoy Seek ball <laughs> security method. First and 10. Poison only sends two. Jay Wall only sends two. Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh. 
What a gutsy call! This kid's got cojones! You talk about threading the needle. Ooh. Oh my goodness, he doesn't get tighter than that. And he's on the move, coming down to the wire. Gannon, first and 10. Back across his body again. There goes prime time, 47 seconds. He'll go out of bounds. All right, TD. Your number one goal is to get in the end zone, this but how mindful hot. are you of not leaving oh, too much time on the hot. clock? At this point, you got one timeout. You're trying to score a touchdown. Doesn't matter if it's on this play or the next play. Poison playing cover two to watch Rainy Moss over there, but he checks it down. Let's see if Poison maybe brings some heat here. Oh boy, here we go. J Wall, first and 10. Two man rush. Good user coverage on the crosser, but he's got Sanders to the five, down to the one. J Wall got stopped on the one at the end of the first half. Can he cash in with some time on the clock to take the win at $10,000? Crazy thing That's is, these guys drive. don't have any time. They have one timeout each. It's going to come down to J Wall's offense versus Poison's here. defense. J Wall is one yard to glory in a shot in the final eight. First and goal, Marcel Reese is going to take it, and Marcel Reese catches in. Oh, Jay Wall is 21 seconds away from the final eight of the Madden NFL 21 Club Championship. The kid is clutch. What else can you say when he needed it the most? He put together a game-winning, potentially winning drive. That was big time, absolute lasers, and it was Deion Sanders at receiver that made Nothing the difference. Stupid. Nothing stupid. Got 21 seconds on the clock, though. Poison only needs a field goal. And TD, how many times in this club championship have we seen late drive for field goals end up money? 30? Oh, man. 15. Hey, listen, that's, he that's needs to get to get. the 41 of that's J Walls. A 58 a yarder, he and he has like a chance. Guys. He doesn't, I promise. But he's got to go far, and you know Tyron Poison does not want to pass the ball. He plays with a slow pace. Difficult spot here. He's got to go to Randy Moss again, potentially. First and 10, play action for Gannon. 18 seconds and counting. Throws it that late. That was something stupid. Oh, Gonzalez made the catch. That was the He's going to take a timeout. He's about 20 yards from field goal range. That was almost a pick, but it ends up as a big play for Poison. We saw J Wall be clutch. Does Poison have the clutch gene as well? You said it. He's about 20 yards here. It has to be out of bounds. 1,000%. You can't pass it in bounds. The game will end. He's thinking right now. You can see him thinking about the play call. He's coming out in the bunch tight end. It's got to go out of bounds. Look for a corner or a crossing route. Maybe Randy Moss on something as well. Can he force extra time or possibly more? Tyreek Hill had a huge catch on his last drive. Gannon first and about, 10. About, he's about, looking to it. It's caught, good but game. it's tackled in bounds. Personal trainers and he's got cannot be on the they clock. Can get lucky. Jay Wall, game, he's not and a bag. He's not a suitcase. They he's can. a clutch with the big late drive. I will never to lose to a personal win. trainer, I promise you. Ever. The kid is absolutely clutch. What a game winning drive by Jay Wall. And he continues on his hot streak and he's going to the final eight. What a ball game by both guys, but Jay Wall pulls it out in the end.